Hello guys, today we're going to learn about the multidimensional array. So, I'm going a little fast, you may notice my voice is like a bit faster right now, because this is the second time I made this tutorial, and it's too long, so, and I don't want to like split it into two parts, so, I'm just going to get this over a bit fast. So, a multidimensional array, is it going may sound like a confusing array, but, just a bunch of arrays in one big huge array and we're going to talk later about how that's useful and after this I'll make a whole huge tutorial on arrays and we're done with it because arrays are really useful and right now we're not doing anything but learning but eventually we're going to get into creating a site having some fun with PHP and doing stuff that you may actually want to do so as usual we start a multidimensional array by creating subarrays first. So we're going to forget about the multidimensional array and just create a regular associative array. We already learned this in the last tutorial, so I'm not going to explain everything again. Just watch the last one. So this is going to be an array about me, so I'm going to name it me equals array. So my age equals 13 and comma then name and then put my name and why did I put the sign e okay equals my name and then I'm just gonna put weight and then equals a hundred and twenty. Yeah, that's right. I weigh a lot. I'm just joking. But that's pretty good. That's a lot for a 13 year old, I guess. Anyway, and since we're lazy, multi-dimensional arrays has more than one array in it. So, we're going to copy this and then paste it over here. And just change the age to something else. I'm just going to make it 12. I'm just going to change the name to make it Andrew something. Maybe since he's 12, I guess he'll be like 100, maybe 90. And we'll change the name of this to maybe friend. Imaginary friend. But that's kind of creepy. So, now we created uh, two associative arrays. So, a multidimensional array is an array with two sub arrays inside it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to create an array and name it people because it has more than I don't know just name it people I don't have any reason and then what we're gonna do is gonna put me since this is what I wanna name this array so I named it me and then I'm gonna put equals equals and greater than sign and then comma and later I'm going to paste this over here. That's why there's an error because there's no value. And then I'm going to create, I want to create another array named friend. So I type in friend and put equals greater than sign. Not plus greater than, not equals greater than. And now what I'm going to do is let's so this is just a regular way so just gonna make it look like a regular associative array so now this is a, an associative array so now we're gonna change this to a multi-dimensional array by copying uh, the other associative array we created without the parentheses without the me equals and replace the two quotes I put with that and then I'm going to copy this and put it over here. Good, we just created a multi-dimensional array. Congratulations. Now I went a little fast, so I'm going to go back and explain everything. So, this is, we want a multi-dimensional array is one big array. So, this is how we start an array. The first array is m me. And then we create the array. And then, this is just a regular uh associative array then a comma to separate one array from a different array 
and the name of the next array is friend and then equals greater and the actual array. So we created the first multi-dimensional array. Congratulations. Last time I made this tutorial it was 10 minutes. No, it was no, it was 15 minutes. And now we did this in last time. So, let's get started. So, yeah. Now we created the first thing. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create, in the next tutorial, we're just going to create a project of arrays where we actually make use of an array and we're going to start looping through an array. Now, we didn't do looping yet and anything, but that's because I've been saving looping for arrays because it's better to loop an array than just like use a while statement and while loop and then just echo something random so we're gonna learn those loops later in the next tutorial okay so this was a short tutorial 604